I'm drinking my lemon water and I drink this to flush out all the toxins. It also is really good for me and my health situation, which I'm gonna kind of give some updates. If you've been following along or if you've been watching my TikTok, I have mold in my body. Kind of terrifying. I think it's just like taking over. So while I was living in my other house, the old house, that you guys have seen. I took one mold test because I thought that's where my symptoms were coming from, came back positive, and then I got on this whole like natural protocol. I took another test while I was still living in that house and it came back higher. Not only that, it came back high in two molds this time. So one is the overtoxin A, which is living in that house somewhere, just taking over. Um, the other one is Candida. And I have a huge sweet tooth, and apparently if you have a big sweet tooth, that's like the candy to talking. It's like, give me more food so I can grow more. Um, so now I'm on this whole like candida diet, and I literally can basically eat nothing. So it's going to be really hard. Like all my favorite sweet foods, I can't have. Oh my god, and I just found these really good budge pops let me show you them let me put you on and i hope that you can eat these for me noms okay literally the only ingredients are cashews spring water dates and cocoa and they're organic like what they literally taste like a fudge pop i i'm obsessed but i can't even have them now because they have dates because that's a high sugar fruit so basically i can't have dairy gluten refined sugar which i didn't really have already but it's also including like coconut sugar, maple syrup, um, pasteurized honey. Um, I'm, am I missing anything else? Oh yeah, I can't have like white rice. I can't have um, a lot of carbs. I can't have corn. I can't have potatoes. Um, however, I feel like this is going to be good because it's really going to just like clean out my system. It's going to be a whole cleanse. Um, and honestly, I'll do anything to feel better. So if it means that I can't have my favorite foods for six weeks, that is fine. But it is kind of crazy how like you can think that you're like being really healthy and doing all the right things. But if you're not being specific to your body and you don't understand what's happening inside your body, like you can just be unhealthy. And that's just so crazy to me because... I always thought like, oh, like I'm reading the ingredients, like I'm doing the right things, but that's not what my body personally needed. So I'm learning like a really big lesson here and I'm learning a lot about health um, and just like listening to your body and figuring out the root cause of things because so many people, like when they get sick, they go to the doctor and they just give them a pill for the symptoms, but they don't give them anything for the root cause. So... I'm really excited to like get to the bottom of this and if what I'm doing doesn't fix my situation then I think it's my boobs that are making me sick and that would really freaking suck like I had mosquito bites before so <laughs>
about to go to the gym. Hi, Michael. I'm about to take a shit. Gosh, sorry about that. Anyways, I'm about to go work out. Um, I have booty day today. I'm filming on my phone because I left my camera at the office. So when I work out, I'm gonna grab that. Then the rest of the video will be high quality. Here's my gym fit. I have this green tank top. And then I have these green boot cut leggings. Everybody just I'm heard sorry. you pee in the I'm background. Sorry. I didn't mean to ruin your filming. That was rude. I'm sorry. I should have shut the door or I should have just held it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh no, no more dance, baby. No more dance in your head. <laughs> we have this ongoing joke that my head is full of dents. I mean, it is true. It's not full of dents. Like if you like you run your water. like you hands through my hair, you like feel like stents. Your mama dropped you as a kid. Shauna, <laughs> are you why are you dropping no days, baby? I was about to leave to go to the gym. However, we are having our house worked on. So I'm blocked in the driveway. Right now, I'm just going to work on some stuff for the Keach Beach Instagram. As you guys know, I've been going through like this whole Candida diet. And I thought about sharing some recipes for y'all. So I'm just creating that right now. I'll show you a little bit of it. This is one of the recipes I'm working on. It is literally the best snack you can have any time of the day. It is so good and I cannot believe it is candida safe. You only really got the moves, baby. I just got to the gym and I'm having a little snack. Chomps, my favorite in the entire world. So I'm gonna film a little bit of my workout just because I feel like following along in like a long form youtube video it's really hard when you're in the gym because you have to like scroll through and then like do what they do then pause it and like all that so what i've come up with is if you go to my playlist section i have a bunch of short for example i have a bubble butt weighted workout and basically how it works is all the exercises are in order one through whatever amount of exercises we did and just scroll through it kind of like it was like if you were to go on an app so i feel like that was just like a lot easier it's in vertical format you don't have to scroll through the long form video you can just take the one exercise keep it on the screen look at it go do it and then swipe to the next exercise i feel like it's just a lot more efficient for working out in the gym so yeah i hope that you like that let me know in the comments below if you do just finished my workout and I realized I don't have any protein powder here so I had another chomps and I'm eating these for some carbs because I just feel like I really need this I'm feeling like this candida diet 
is making me feel like really low energy and that could be like the candy to dine the fatigue but i feel like i need to eat more carbs and carbs are very limited on this diet but one that i can have are the siete chips i really like the brand siete they have really clean stuff they have really good taco seasoning too tortillas are bomb uh, literally the only ingredients in this cassava flour cassava starch avocado oil coconut flour chia seeds sea salt citric acid and lime oil They're bomb I'm gonna snack on these while i do a couple of things on my computer a lot of things for youtube you have to do on like an actual desktop you can't do it on like an ipad or your phone i mean like in the editing side so whenever i do my playlist i always come to the office and i just have to um put them into playlist and write the description and all that so after i finish this i'm gonna go to the grocery store and i think that's it i might go to crate and barrel and get this really cute tea kettle that i've been wanting it's really cute um, but who knows? My camera kept dying in the car, so sorry about that chaos. And then I also realized I forgot my phone at home. So Michael's coming to the office in a little bit and he's going to bring it. But just the world was telling me not to vlog in the car. Um, anyways, I was also going to film a little bit of my meeting that we had with a graphic designer for a logo of a brand that we're starting. So that was really fun and exciting. I want to film it, but the camera was dead again. So, bummer. Anyways, um, now I'm just going to catch up on a couple of things that I have to do for the brand. Um, I know I am like haven't ah, really said much about what I'm starting. Talked about it a little bit on my IG. Um, I'll be able to tell you guys very soon. Just need to get through a couple of things first and, you know, been working on it for like two and a half years now and i've ran into like so many hurdles i'll call them or like obstacles but we finally hopped through most of them and we're getting close but anyways um i'm gonna do a couple things here and then i have a another meeting with michael and i's interior designer for our home so i'm gonna vlog a little bit of that and that's gonna be really fun and exciting um but for now i'm gonna work how do you like it you guys this is the almond butter fudge I'm i brought obsessed. at least some 
This I know. It's delicious. It's so good, right? It's so like buttery smooth. I know, it's like fudge. <laughs> okay, so you want to know how I found out about the almond butter fudge? Yeah, I do. I'm in love. So my high school teacher, I think it was my English teacher, mm -hmm. he brought them to school. And I saw him eating them and I was like, what is that? And he let me try it. And then he like wrote down the recipe for me. And then ever since what? then, I like, I like made it a couple times in high school and then I forgot about it. And then I, I was like scrolling through Pinterest and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I've had that before. So then I, I recreated it. It's so good, I'm so happy. <laughs> this recipe it's on um, my peach peach Instagram I need a bigger one it's so good to the gym right now i'm gonna do like an upper body day babe what are you working out today uh chest and tries nice don't really have energy same fatigue i feel like a tip for when you don't have energy and you're going to the gym it's like later in the day you can't have caffeine or you just don't want to go whatever it is is just to show up because most likely if you're there 
you're gonna at least do something even if it's walking the treadmill i feel like michael was just talking about this he <laughs> thinks i'm stealing from him i'm giving him credit walking on the treadmill like just get yourself moving and a lot of times if you put on like music you really like or something or you do something that motivates you it'll get you to finish your workout so tips by michael bro why do your chapsticks always look like this i'll show you exactly why <laughs> what the hell what do you do you like use the side of them oh, what fuck. you don't use ah oh, <laughs> <laughs> no! You did that. You broke it before you. No, I did not. You, you were trying to sabotage. I am just freaking trying to like trying to know mold the sculpture. Does that work for you? Is that better? Yeah, because that's exactly what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to like. No, I hit both lips at once. Top and you, bottom. Like, I don't have to center. go. You put in the center. You put in the center of your lips. Efficiency. Both, yeah. <laughs> that is such a you thing to do. It's so efficient. It is the nicest day in Nashville. It's finally getting to that time of year where it's like just about fall and it is just like the perfect temperature. It just feels like a nice little hug, a little breeze. It's great. Um, so being said, I'm sitting outside planning how I want my fall front porch to look and I'm so excited about this because I have like all my Pinterest photos and like the inspo. So usually like what I do when I like want to plan out a space, whether it's like my garden space or a room or whatever it is, I like to like sit in front of it and then like draw like a little like inspo. That way I have a plan going into it. So here's my little drawing that I came up with. I want to do like tall, um, pretty like grasses right here. Nothing too thick. Um, and something a little bit more on like a neutral scale rather than like a bright green and then I have little baskets with flowers in them and a little basket here pumpkins um, I'm probably gonna have to wait a couple weeks to get that just for when they're in season but that's the plan and then a little tin with flowers in it and then I have this little stool that I got for my YouTube set that I never ended up using so I'm gonna put some pumpkins on that and that's gonna be the final look. So we just got to an antique store. We're going to look for some cute little tins and baskets and just sweet little things we can add to the house just to make it feel a little bit more homey. So, Michael put the little... Quit lying, you popped out with the tape on the belt. She's prepared for these measurements. <laughs> Let's get this bread. Okay, put this on my belt, look, and I feel so official. Hurry up, I've had enough to do with you. <laughs> Michael really wants you guys to see this. Isn't it cute? Oh my god, imagine like a little pumpkin on that. But anyways, whenever I go and look through like vintage stuff, I'm always like, who did this belong to? Like, it's just so cool to think like, you know, it was somebody else's possession in the past. We are back. I'm gonna show you what I got. So I got this really cute little green um, container and we love about like antique products is like everything just feels quality like this is not some light thin little tin thing like this has some weight to it um, and it's just so cute I love it and then I got this cute little basket that I'm gonna put like little flowers in um, and then this big tin that I'm gonna put some sort of plant in all for the front porch i'm so excited about this um but i think i'm gonna go and get some like plants and flowers another day because it's already like 6 p.m and i still gotta work out and i'm also kind of tired 
So on that note, I'm going to close out the vlog here. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want more weekly vlogs like this, let me know in the comments below. But anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.